In keeping with the tradition of personal anonymity at the level of public media, the faces of AA members do not appear in this production. The people shown portraying AA members are hired actors. Cooperation with healthcare professionals is an ongoing objective of Alcoholics Anonymous. We realize that you will encounter patients with drinking problems in the course of your work. Alcohol, for some people, is poison. You know, it just isn't the same for the alcoholic person as it is for a normal drinker. Um, and once you get into that place of having alcohol run your life, it's like having an allergy to alcohol. And it's very helpful to tell people, look, alcohol is special for you. It's different for you than it is for other people. Alcohol in your situation is a poison. But I think the key concept is that it's poisonous, it's addictive, that the neurochemical changes in the brain caused by frequent and constant exposure to alcohol are such that people are no longer free to decide whether they're going to drink or not. And if they drink, they're not free to decide how much they're going to drink. We would like you to know more about what AA is and what it isn't. The primary purpose of AA is for members to stay sober and help other alcoholics achieve sobriety. While AA does not affiliate with outside entities, it serves as a resource to the medical community through cooperation. AA doesn't claim to have the only solution to recovery from alcoholism, but we do have a way that works for us. It's really important to understand that um, not only are the people that you encounter in AA not professionals, but the organization is not a professional organization. It is a loosely, very loosely organized fellowship. Every group is autonomous. They can do whatever they want to do. Nobody tells them how to do it. People just share the principles and the guidelines, and they pass it from one person to the next. AA meetings are at the heart of the fellowship. Healthcare professionals have a standing invitation to observe open AA meetings. The biggest surprise for me has always been the power of one person telling their story to another person. Local AA committees often help professionals find meetings for their patients and may be able to set up meetings on site if requested. I was still amazed at the uh, level of support. I was um, amazed at the kind of people that came to the meeting. They were of all stripes. AA doesn't make medical diagnoses, engage in research, or keep records or case histories of members. While the AA recovery program is based on broad spiritual principle, it is not a religious organization. AA can help people stop drinking and stay stopped, which allows them to rebuild their lives. Uh, a lot of people are very talented, but because of problems with alcoholism, they're just not able to be reliable and be responsible. But AA, through its principles, through the 12 steps, really help people to achieve sobriety and they're able to then become very productive and responsible members of the workforce. AA literature is available and often used as a tool to help problem drinkers understand the AA program. So through their uh, structure of services and through their literature, they're able to reach all types of uh, individuals. But like I said, whether or not they are minorities, whether or not we're talking about the lesbians or the elderly or the young, AA is there. The AA.org website also offers valuable information. The About AA newsletter for professionals can be accessed from this website. And in searching that website, it has become a resource for myself as a professional, as well as a source for my clients. Local AA offices are listed in most telephone directories and on the web. 
You can also contact the General Service Office of AA for help and information, or find us on the web at www.aa.org. We look forward to helping you help your alcoholic patients. Some professionals refer to alcoholism and drug addiction as substance abuse or chemical dependency. Non-alcoholics are therefore sometimes introduced to AA and encouraged to attend AA meetings. Anyone may attend open AA meetings, but only those with a drinking problem may attend closed meetings. In keeping with the tradition of personal anonymity at the level of public media, the faces of AA members do not appear in this production. The people shown portraying AA members are hired actors.